Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to, well, <laughs> we're going to look at this Achimenes uh, that uh, that I got. I got this at um, one of the Gisneriad or African Violet shows um, last year? I'm not sure. I think it was last year. It might have been the year before. Anyway, uh, this is the first year that it's bloomed for me. It actually kind of looked like it was going to die, and it did. It went back into the ground, went dormant, and it came back, and it, it's doing nicely now. So, <laughs> now that it's doing beautifully, off with its head! <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to be able to have enough to fill in a pot maybe this spring, summer, uh, outside. So right now it's blooming beautifully and that's wonderful, but I really should have trimmed this back a little while ago. As you can see, it hangs over the pot thusly and I'd really like it to stand more straight up. And uh, to do that it needs to be a little bit more bushy and uh, as you can see here at the base of the plant there are let's go to this camera there are all kinds of uh, little uh, little growths so if I cut it back here these little growths are going to start taking over and that'll be wonderful and then along on this I'm going to take I'm going to take cuttings all, uh, from all of this as many as I can and plunk them down in a pot and see how many take uh, and then um, hopefully I can merge them together and then have a nice uh, display. I'd like to like to have a little basket of these maybe for next year. I'd like to have it filled out and, and nice and, and ready year after year. So anyway, let's get to it. Let's chop off its head. I hope you enjoy these flowers. They're really, really pretty. They're yellow with purple. Oh, does this camera pull, pick them up nicely? Yeah, there they are. So again, I'm just going to take a knife here. I'm going to cut this back. I don't know what variety this is of Achimenes. Uh, and there we go. It's going to appreciate this. It, these are going to start growing like crazy. It's going to be a much more dense growth. And that's going to be a lovely. So now we're going to take this. And we're going to make all kinds of cuttings. As many as we can make. So I'm just going to cut little bits off. And I'm going to remove the flowers. I know, I know. That's uh, that's horrible. Uh, but you don't want it to put its uh, energy into flower production. You want to put it, have it put its energy into rooting. So easy to understand, I think. Uh, so I'm just putting these off to the side. I hope that one pot is enough. If not, I will uh, grab another pot. So as I'm taking these cuttings, I want to make sure here that there's at least two nodes. Uh, by a node I mean where the leaves join. So that's where the roots are actually going to come from. So here is one node right here. I don't know that you're able to see that very well. Uh, and then there's another node right here. And I will, I will remove the leaves from that as well. But I want to wait and see. And then I've got uh, a little flower bud right here. We're going to make sure to remove the flower bud. There's another flower bud. Just remove those just so that it doesn't take the energy, like I said. The plant, even as a cutting, will try to produce its flowers rather than produce roots. So just uh, be aware of that. Uh, it's going to be so sad to get rid of these little blooms. I waited so long for it to flower. There we go. Got all kinds of little cuttings here. And this looks like it's going to be one nice cutting here, up at the top. Just remove all of the flowers. I know, for shame, Bill, for shame. I should have done this sooner, but uh, where's the time? Everything seems to happen all at once in the springtime, right? Everything seems to come into bloom. Everything seems to grow all the same uh, rate, really, really fast. All right, so with this one, I can turn this into two cuttings. Um, just making sure that I am aware of what side is up. So this top part is going to be one cutting, and then I can use this as, a, as another cutting. As I remove, I'll probably cut off some of this. doesn't need to be as long. So this one will just remove all these little side bits. And see, I've got a couple of nodes here. One, two. I can remove leaves here. And then it's going to start producing little side growths right here. They've already started. So that's wonderful. So what am I going to plant these in? I'm going to do it in another 4-inch pot. I'm going to plant it in a 4-inch pot, and I've got uh, 
some self-watering string here. This is, I bought this specifically as self-watering string. It's, uh, I believe it's cotton and, and, and nylon. I, I, I can't remember what the makeup was, but this one is supposed to be a good one, uh, specifically made for, uh, for wicking. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to poke it through. Actually, I didn't burn the edges. Let's burn the edges to increase the life of this little guy so it doesn't fray all over the place. So I'm burning the ends just to melt it together, being ever so careful not to burn myself. Just putting all of the ends together. There we go. Ah, a little bit more. It's funny how sometimes they melt really, really quick and sometimes they don't. All right. That'll do. That'll do. All right. So I'm going to feed it up through one hole. Most of my pots I just have through one hole. But this one I'm going to go up through one and down through the other. Most self-watering pots that you find in the store when you buy them have that, that tape along the bottom, uh, that, that thick um, thick um, rope st uh, style stuff and it goes in one side and down the other. And that way it'll give extra coverage. So I'm also, now I'm going to use some of my, um, my all-purpose um, uh, Pro Mix, the high porosity with lots of perlite. These guys like to have a peat-based soil. Uh, to retain some moisture, but they also like some perlite for added aeration and drainage. All right, so there was a couple of clumps in here. I'm just going to break up the clumps. There we go. And now I'm just going to use a, a stick here just to poke some holes. Actually, I'll poke the holes as I need them. So again, I'm just going to remove leaves. This is going to, you, you don't want to have the leaves down where you're planting them in the soil, they'll just rot away and then and then it could cause rot for the plant. So you just want to remove anything that's going to rot. And there we go, we've got a nice cutting there. Uh, we're going to sink it up to about this level here. Be able to see that right up to about here. So we'll poke a little hole and then we'll plunk them in there. And there it is. Same thing with this one. Just gonna use my fingers. There's some little off growths there, but uh, just remove those. And uh, yeah, this one's now ready to go into the soil as well. Do, do, do. With the amount of cuttings I'm gonna get, I can probably do two pots. I'll do this one with you because there's uh, there's no need for me to to do the same thing for a secondary pot. Uh, to make the video a little too long. <laughs> I'm sure some of you wouldn't mind. <clears throat> All right. So this one, there's this long section here that doesn't have any nodes. I'm just going to remove some of that. doesn't need to be that long. Roots aren't going to develop there. It might just end up rotting. So I left about a half centimeter before the nodes here. Um, I could take a little bit more off, but there's, there's, it's not necessary. Um, it would be a little bit too small to, to do that uh, effectively. Just going and making sure I got some of the all the buds out. And then I'm going to make a little hole and then plunk it down in and make sure it's got good contact with the soil. How many do I have here now? I have one, two, three, four remaining. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll make a secondary pot. So with this, I'm just going to I'll fill, fill one of these with a little bit of water and then I'm going to let it soak in there for, uh, for, the, for a couple of hours until this, this uh, uh, soil gets uh, moisturized. And then I have, oh, where are my uh, things? Give me one second. So this is what I use for the self-watering. I have uh, the lids and they have holes in them. And uh, usually this is where I, I put the water and then this is where the, the string comes down from the pot and sits inside. So <clears throat> instead I'm going to have it, let's go down to this camera, I'm going to put one string down one hole and the other string down another hole and kind of have it straddle. And, and once the, uh, the pot is, is moisturized I'm going to put it there and I'm going to have this uh, reservoir filled with water 
and it's going to automatically water itself. So that's going to be great for the cuttings. Um, things like this need to be constantly moist. So <clears throat> uh, while, while you wait for them to root, uh, in general, just Neriads like to be on the, on the moist side. They don't like to dry down for too long. When they dry down for too long, they start to go dormant. So that's not really a good thing. So let's, uh, let me uh, fill this up with water and let it uh, do its thing. And uh, I'll get on to the next pot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see what these little guys look like uh, after they start to grow out. And uh, I'll keep you posted. Hopefully in the summertime you'll see these out on the, on the porch on the shady side. Uh, these, these guys, Achimenes, like to be in a, uh, a shadier spot in the garden outside. Inside they like uh, bright indirect light. Uh, they burn easily so you just need to be very very careful. Uh, if they look like they're stressed out, bring them into a little bit more shade. So, and in the house, if they look like they're stretching, give them a little bit more sun. So, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Show me what you're growing. If you're growing achimenes, what are your secrets to success? Uh, and what colors do you have? I want more colors. I had another one, but it died. Um, so, yeah, and it was the healthier one. This one was, was the one that I was worried about. Go figure. Anyway, until next time, you guys, happy growing.